Yes, yes. What up, YouTube? Another video for the day. This one's about kicks. Here we have the Nike Air Safari. I just picked this bad boy up today. Wore them right out the store. Like the old school, like the old days. Do people still wear their kicks right out the store? I'm not even, I don't even know if people do that anymore. But that was the tradition when I was young. Clothes, sneakers, you go to the store wearing just garbage. And whatever you cop, you put that on. You throw what you had on in the bag or maybe even in the garbage, depending on how trashy you went to the store. And you fresh for the day. Yes, yes, this shoe um, is from 1987. Shout out to Jordan Jella. He, uh, that's the shoe ZM guy on YouTube. He broke down uh, the history of this shoe. He was talking about how this is one of Nike's first um, shoes that were like designed for like a casual type wear. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a shoe they made for athletes. It was a shoe I guess you could run in, but it was more of a lifestyle. It was a lifestyle shoe. So it's early early Nike experimentation with just making a dope sneaker that people can wear. Not something that you have to run a marathon in or play full quarters in or anything like that. You got that safari print all over. Got that animal pack that just dropped. But I'm cool with the OGs. The black leather right here is uh, pretty regular. The orange leather, as you can see, is very, very soft. Very, very soft, very nice. It has that same leather on the inside and the lining. It's got a leather tongue, perforations, it's got brown and black leather on the tongue. As you can see the tag right there, Nike Air Safari. Uh, very, very dope shoe. I'm glad people slept on this. I thought people might have a, uh, it's a quick strike. So if this shoe had any kind of hype on it, I would have no chance of, I would have had no chance of getting it. So, you know, this is how I get most of my really, my favorite sneakers. Stuff that has um, some history to it. Stuff that's been around for a long time and is gonna be around for a long time and then just goes under the radar a little bit. So something more like uh, the Animal Pack, which isn't an OG. It's an older shoe, but it's not an OG. That gets the hype. And those are dope shoes. Not my thing, but that gets the hype. That gets the attention. And something like this, just catch it right under the radar. Scoop, scoop. I mean, it's sold out in a couple places, but if you look, you can find these OGs, I love Nike OGs, Bo Jacksons, Air Maxes, um, you know, all that dope shit. All right, I gotta go make this money. See you tomorrow.